they're almost cru- they're killing almost killing his career. Yeah. You know that. No, no, no. See, he doesn't make it. He, see, first of all, he had a, he had a career. We ain't got right. what he has now is double dessert. I mean, he has been everything he wanted. He was top movie star, oh, yeah, governor. Body, How much he, where you going? Big movie star. And he's, he's worth, almost, and he's worth, and he's not broke. No, he's not looking for work. No. <laughs> so what? If he don't the, work another day in his life, he'd be all right. <laughs> But he's got he's got the claim he's worth six hundred million and I only bought him a dime. Nobody yeah. gave Arnold a quarter. Well, Arnold's a maker. Well, you know what? <clears throat> I I always he didn't make his I, money. I've always him. said this, <clears throat> and, and maybe you were taught the same thing as a kid. <clears throat> Excuse me, growing up, my parents used to always tell me, <clears throat> nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you a living. Nobody, whatever they got, they earned it on their own. They don't owe you a damn thing. If they choose to help you and give you something, that's great. But don't expect anything from anybody to give you anything. You need to work for your own to get it. Kindness is a, kindness is a gift. It's not a right. That's right. And nobody's kindness is your. You don't. You, you have no right to anybody's kindness. You, you don't. You got to preach it. If anybody do anything for you, be thankful. That's what my parents always told me. And so you know, there's a lot of people out there that really don't like him, but because he didn't do stuff for him, but he didn't owe us anything. We, we, what do you care about? He, you think he got that 600 being liked? No. So what them not make you like, okay, well, what most people make? are famous, that, you know, aren't like, like, because sometimes you have to step on a few toes what do you do? You think they respect you, throw out your money, they think you're a fool. Well, that's exactly. another, another thing about how the media is saying, poor Maria Shriver, poor Maria Shriver. She didn't. She didn't earn anything. She didn't. If you if you want compared self-made people, well, she's getting chump change compared. Uh, but what I hear she's getting compared to what these people are getting. I think it's a hundred and something. Hundred thousand a month. That's nothing. And he's worth six hundred million. Yeah, but I'm saying I he. Mean, that's the thing is she had that name from her family, and that's probably where she got her wealth was from her family. And oh, yet, yeah. like you're saying, Arnold, well, she's Arnold, Arnold good, earned every quarter Arnold, he has. Arnold earned everything. And yet they're air with the media. Poor Maria. Poor Maria. But she and, worked. You no, know, but she worked. Yeah, but come on. And you know, but would no, she would she been hired if her name wasn't Shriver? But the one, the one, yeah, the one thing that gets me is, was Joe Weider gave Arnold everything he got. Joe didn't give Arnold everything. Joe opened the door. Joe opened the and door. And Arnold knocked Arnold it down. Arnold walked through. Right. Joe gave him an opportunity, and they both thrived on it. Joe didn't. People were thinking. Well, Joe Arnold, didn't need Arnold. No, and Arnold. See, in other words, Joe wouldn't have been lost any business he didn't push to promote Arnold. No. So that's why I respect him. Right. Now Arnold, but he opened the door for and Arnold. It's a go. I mean, Arnold. He's a go getter. When I first met him, I thought he was insane. I really did. I'm going to be a star. I said, What are you? Are you going to be a star? You, you know. As a matter of fact, I got audio that he got. I know he was surprised when I showed you that audio. Mm-hmm. That I got Artie Zeller. You know Artie Zeller. Oh yeah. Uh, we were at my house and Artie had set up the tape, but I didn't even know he had, had it set up. We bullshitting. And uh, after we finished Artie's hair, I got a, you know, those, uh, I think that was a cassette. Yeah, cassette for you. I said, yeah, we were all eating. And Arnold was talking about um, how he uh, he didn't take vitamins, he didn't take drugs. I, I said, who are you stroking, Arnold? I said, well, who you think we're stupid here? You know? And uh, I was telling um, Jay about it, and Jay made a CD of it. But the point is, I've always was in Arnold's face. You know, because I, but I didn't think, if you had told me Arnold would wind up where he was. Oh, I would have told you, you were crazy. Thousand, I, I would have took the bet. <laughs> yeah. Would, I mean, uh, anybody would have taken the bet. If is you a, first met him, yeah, you would take the I'm bet. I'm going to be a star. Be That's what he said. I said, and at that time. A star he, what? Yeah. <laughs> Star of and what? you know, bodybuilders are looked down upon that. Yeah, there's a, a, a star of what? From bodybuilding? I, I love bodybuilding, but that ain't going to make you no star. Because Steve Reeves got lucky? You think you want to get lucky? No, but Reeves didn't approach his, his uh, notoriety. No, he No, no, no. He didn't approach <clears> it. <throat> Reeves was like minor stuff compared to my own. Yeah. Arnold's a take charge guy. Oh, yeah. And he had complete contempt for your intelligence, you know. And you, and you, th- you, you know that, don't you? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Arnold, Arnold's a piece of work. Oh, I, know he is. I remember when we before he got famous, and we I think I told you the story before. When he picked up the scorecards. Oh, we were judging. Yeah. I was like astounded. And you know how people in the take charge elected. Right. He was just pick, picked up the scorecards for six or seven months. All of us much older than him. Right. He was a young. Uh, he hadn't made a movie yet. No. Or and then he it starts something. in the back. He was twenty something. Yeah. I said, "Where are you going? Well, I'm going to add it up." I said, "Are you? What are you kidding me? What do you mean? Who are you?" <laughs> I said. Oh, you don't trust me? I said, hell no. <laughs> and the other guy said, you know me. The other guy said, like, then they, they all got up on the chair there. And they went in the back room to tally the, the score. He had the goal 
to think that he was going to pick up this scorecard and he was going to go and, and, and take and mark whatever he wanted. I was like, I couldn't believe it, Bill. I could not believe it. Then I said, George, you supposed to be running this contest. You let everybody, because I know. And he was up there speaking, and brash, and take charge. You know. So we used to. I mean, but I respect him. You know, there's another thing you say. Um, Two percent of the people of the world that's the rule of the ninety-eight percent. Right. Because he, he he had contempt for the masses. Oh yeah. And you know how he could, what do you call psyching people out? Right. Yeah, yeah. He always yeah. break, but I didn't never look upon it as fishes though for some reason. No, I didn't either. It's just it's part of the game. Yeah, no, but I always looked upon him as just amazing that he had that husband. Yeah. You know, not that he was a. I never known him to be mean spirited. Yeah, yeah, I never known him to. to I never known him to rob it. anybody. Yeah, no, I never seen but, him do that. No, one. I mean you know what I mean. Right. Tough, no, but, I know. Right. But he just if you. If he can't find stepping on you, mean anything, he go to the next one because he he's climbing the ladders, and he and he went to school. I mean, people say all they want. I don't. I think the man is. A, I I'm be honest with you. I respect him a lot. He one thing that he said, "Fuck, guy stole his way up the ladder." He didn't steal no, his way. Well. How did everybody else get there? Yeah, and they said he dominated the set when he was on the set, the movie sets. That's what they said. I don't know about that, you know. But he dominated the sets. Everybody was honor was the man, you know. Well, listen, but, I respect the stuff he did because he worked hard for it. I mean, remember now. You piled with, out with him more than I did. With Franco, he worked as a mason, carpenter. He went to school at night. Who? Arnold. Oh, Arnold worked as a mason? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he worked as a carpenter, a mason, went to school at night. What did I tell you? He, 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 Arnold worked. Nobody with, gave him nothing. Arnold worked. That's why, that's why I keep telling guys, he doesn't owe us nothing. He did all the work. What did we do? To deserve part of his fortune, you can't get there not doing it. No, this is not something. Why weird. would he be stupid He's enough not to Bill give Gates. us money and we didn't even earn it? Like, why am I? Give, I'm busting my hump and I'm going to give you my money. Well, he didn't bet nothing. He worked for his money. He did. He worked. He worked you know? for it. And I tried to always, especially I did a thing with on Fox News with him, and I, I just tried to humanize him with people because if you don't know him, you would think he was born a star and he was given everything and. I had to let people understand it. This man worked his butt off when he came here. He could hardly speak. He had no mastery of the language. He couldn't dress right. Lived in a dumpy old one bedroom apartment in North Hollywood. Drove a beat up old red Volkswagen. I mean, who Gee, is this guy? More